Hey guys, Ash Lane here. Episode 39, Attack Point Selection and Strategy with Go Wipe. Let's go over some points of attack strategy. Number one, never engage both Infernos directly. Number two, always engage Queen directly if possible. Number three, avoid immediate Clan Castle engagement if possible. And number four, plan out your 50% by mix by, with minions and archers for cleanup after uh, before attacking the base. Uh, and do those in order of importance. So number one, always never engage both infernos directly is certainly the number one thing to concern yourself with and then you go down the line from there when evaluating a base so let's go over our last war here and i want to show you three replays where base base selection was especially key uh first i'll start with my own so here where would you attack from well i chose the, according to our guidelines, I chose the, the uh, southwest, as you can see here. I'm only engaging one inferno, inferno immediately, and I'm going after the queen immediately as well, and I'm avoiding that clan castle. I'm going to strategy key, plan your jump spell before going in, as well as a cleanup crew. As you can see, I brought five minions because I counted out the buildings I need to destroy to get that that, that are out of target of uh, air defenses. So as you can see here, I'm just going to clear out all that space behind that nice spread of golems. As you can see in the southernmost unit, I do have those wizards trailing behind, and then I release the main, uh, the ma majority of the main forces of my army, and I drop that double jump spell going over both of those walls there. A critical strategy point is keep the eye on that inferno. As soon as my witches and wizards get into that middle section there, I'm going to drop the inferno and I drop the freeze rather on the inferno. And here's where I go wrong in this attack. It didn't be it didn't end up being a big issue, but I did have a fail. I didn't keep my eye on royal health there, and I used both hero abilities as soon as they got to the center. Which is certainly better to do than not to do, because you always want to use your hero abilities before they're actually dead. Especially when they get to the center, it's never a, a really a terrible thing to do to burn both of the abilities. So as you can see here, I do have plenty for the 50%. In fact, I am going to use the cleanup crew strategy key, activate the cleanup crew. I am going to get 70% with that cleanup crew. Let's go on to the next attack here by Gondo. Uh, here it is. Where would you attack from this base? Now, Gond is a very interesting base. You see, you do see this design quite a lot. Strategic Key notice his cleanup crew here. As you can see, he does bring his minions in nine archers, and he's going to start by sniping those outside builder huts. Never go into a, uh, an attack without planning out the entire uh, the entire attack. I've seen so many 40 to 50 to 49 percent raids where people just didn't clean up uh, the extra units. Always bring in a minimum of three to four archers just to clean up, even if you don't see any outside units. So you can, as you can see here, Gande goes and he follows the rules. Right, he avoids a clan castle uh, engagement initially, and he is going to only since he's going in from the north here, he's only going to have to deal with that northern single target inferno for the majority of the battle, which is important because as you can see, he's only bringing. I believe one Pekka here, uh, perhaps two, I think one. So uh, the majority of his army is witches and wizards. So as you can see, that multi, he does a great job in avoiding. As you can see, he does use that second rage spell to neutralize that Inferno Tower and all those Teslas, and he is going to use his Barbarian King uh, ability as well as the Queens when he gets to that center area with the, with, with the Queen coming up. As you can see, he does take down that town hall easily with that huge firepower of, of uh, wit, uh, wizards, and they were backed up by a golem barbarian king, even though his archer queen, as she's been apt to do, gets disoriented and goes around the base the wrong way. So good attack by Gondo. Now I want to bring you a third attack, uh, illustrating where to attack a, a high-level base from, using the strategy keys I reviewed in the beginning of the video. This one is by Brandon C. Now, Brandon is one of our best attacker strategy-wise. He spends a lot of time evaluating a base, and he really plans it out in his head beforehand. You're going to see from this attack that that's very evident. He comes in from the east here, going a, a right after that Archer Queen, like you want to engage her right off the bat, take her out, because she could do so much more damage sniping from the other side of the Town Hall. He's going to have that single target Inferno to watch out, uh, watch out for, but other than that, he drops an early Rage, so the uh, troops can go in there, get that Queen, 
queen down, and you can see he's going to uh, guide in all those wall breakers behind that free spell, neutralizing that single target inferno. A lot's going on here. You can see his queen's getting a little distracted, but everything's going to come back to the middle once they engage that that uh, those heroes and uh, once they draw them to the center there. So as you can see, things are getting a little chaotic. But he's going to use his Barbarian King's ability coming up shortly here, right now. And there it is. And another great attack by Brandon. Now watch this critical freeze he drops here, too. Beautifully placed freeze. And I'm just going to sit back and let you guys enjoy an amazing attack here by Brandon against a very nice base design. Take care, guys. <laughs> 